Uh, I'll pause really briefly to say that Routable is a platform for B2B payments. Uh, I've known Ben since its inception, so this is cool. Hi, Ben. We should catch up on. Um, but uh, our goal with Routable, my co-founder and I both started marketplaces previously, and we built B2B payment infrastructures in-house, which is a terrible, terrible thing to do. Um, what I mean by that is when you do primarily B2B payments, you can't just send money. You also have to log that data in ERPs. And then you have to do like tax document management for vendors. You have to have reporting. You basically have to appeal to finance operations and engineering at the same time because you can't make a decision for one or the other. So imagine doing anywhere from a thousand to a million payouts per month, uh, anywhere from contractors to huge companies like Amazon, Salesforce, and just deploying anywhere from $100 to $10 million or way more in a day or in a second. Um, so a lot of our work goes into that. Um, what I wanted to show first is very simply how you can send payments internationally to our platform. It's something new that we released. Um, and then the second thing that I was going to do is to send an uh, instant payment via RTP through our platform. And then I'll just get through that. Um, and then I'm monitoring the chat as well, and we'll go from there. And Angel, if you see something come through the chat, feel free to pause me and we'll kind of take it. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do here, let's imagine that Dunkin' Donuts launched a new delivery service, like an on-demand delivery service in Canada. And I want to pay my new driver, Austin Stone. That's exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm going to hit new, select payment, not a bill, because I'm going to do a payout. I'm going to select my driver, Austin, and here he is. Now, something that's cool is whenever we select this data, we're also querying NetSuite at the same time. So in this demo, I'm representing myself as both a, you know, uh, a business user and a finance user at the same time. So what we did is we queried NetSuite and Routable at the same time. We have one person to contact for Austin. We can modify the message that we want to send him. We also queried NetSuite to see if there's any outstanding liabilities for our friend Austin, none, which is awesome. And then we can see this huge form starts to come together, um, which is all the data that you need to submit to create a payment on NetSuite. So what we're going to do here is put the posting period of September 2022. Uh, let's say Duncan payout number, some random digits. I have to select like all these beautiful things to make this actually process or otherwise NetSuite freaks out, but this is actually really important. Uh, and then let's say we're gonna pay him 875 Canadian dollars because you're awesome, will be in the memo. And all of these fields that you see here are actually fields that are to require per type of vendor or optional according to the needs of the finance world. I'll show you also in a second how you can grab that data via our API, which most of our customers use to help launch this. Um, you can also attach files to these payments. That data syncs also to NetSuite as well. And you can add multiple bank accounts. Now, as you can see here, uh, I want to pay Austin via trans bank transfer with multiple bank accounts connected. Uh, we can see additional data on the bank account if you want to see it. Uh, we can add additional data. You can use either an existing address or add new address because that's a required field. Um, I'm gonna have and send out today. We'll also see the conversion rate uh, and we'll send this data to uh, NetSuite. So one of the biggest that's hard in uh, sending payments in B2B with finance involved is logging the right currency in the accounting software. So we do all that thinking and that math. Um, we tell someone when something is due. Also, you can set up approval rules. So let's say if a payment to a driver over $3,000 uh, then have been approved, otherwise automatically send it. All that is available. I'm gonna click here, send payment. Let's hope that all the NetSuite data that I was supposed to enter is good to go. Um, we'll see here in a moment with the NetSuite gods. Um, and then once that goes through, I'll get a little confirmation message. Um, Yep, awesome. 
And what you'll see here is we're starting to prepare like a file. So we have all the conversion data. We have all the user session data. Uh, I can still cancel this payment. We have how it's booked in NetSuite, which is always good. And then we have the status of the payment in NetSuite as well. And we can jump to NetSuite from there. I'm not going to do that for the purposes of this demo because it's a whole new world to explain. Um, if payments don't go through Theo, awesome. You can reprocess them. Uh, you can also like change funding accounts. So I think what was really interesting in the general world of B2B, um, the people that you pay never give you the right payment information. So I'll show you in a moment actually how I can either update Austin's uh, payment information for all payments or allow him to do that. But I just want to show real quick from a demo perspective, our friend Austin is going to get an email. Um, it's not going to come from Radable. It's going to come from Dunkin' Donuts because, you know, I'm Michelle from Dunkin' Donuts. And we're going to tell Austin that he's receiving 875 Canadian dollars. As you can see, you can have FAQs that are added to the bottom of the emails. And then if Austin wants to see um, a snapshot of this payment and all previous payments, very quick to, to see that here uh, in a page that he does not have to sign up for, we have magic links. So as you can see here, um, a mobile optimized page for all of our customers. Now, if you want to build your own interface using our API, go ahead. But otherwise, we want to make this as simple as possible. And you do have the ability to expose additional data uh, and document for uh, customers. And then here, you can also see previous payments. Um, and you can click into each one to see more information. Now, going back to the what happened if payment doesn't process, if there's an error with the banking instructions, we can uh, reinitiate payments when adding a new payment method. Um, so when you add a new payment method, you'll actually see here in the advanced options, uh, you can update pending payables and payables that have not initiated. So you have the ability to override that on behalf of everything. And otherwise, if it's something weird, like something is we find as suspicious or fraudulent, we'll actually pause the payment and reach out to our uh, folks there. Um, yeah, so thanks for the question about the API version. Uh, we work with a lot of developers. Um, we have, I, I think, wonderful docs. And one of the hardest things that we saw um, developers experience is try to figure out how to use, for example, NetSuite or QuickBooks with Radable. So we actually built a page for mapping data, NetSuite to Radable. This is, this is not accessible anywhere else. And actually, if you go to your uh, account settings, you can see this page called object field mapping, where let's say um, a finance person goes to a developer and says, hey, for every payment that goes to Austin, I want it logged as the advances. Well, the engineer is actually going to need the object ID and the object code to fire that payment. So we created an interface that, that allows you know, an engineer to say, OK, I want to search for everything that's employed advances. And that way, you can actually look at the payload and what is supposed to be entered in there, which is very critical. Um, but yeah, if you need to create hundreds of thousands of payments at the same time, that's what's going through. Um, let's see here. Um, are there any other startups or companies that are doing this integra fully integrated solution? Um, so yeah, so uh, in general, like we compete a lot with uh, Bell.com, um, but um, we do really focus on our API approach for larger customers. And then um, Angel is doing an amazing job uh, answering questions. So thank you, Angel. The last thing I want to show you as well is that for domestic uh, vendors, so I'll quickly select here our friends at Google. Um, I actually don't know if we can pay Google with RTP yet. I need to see here in a second. But um, I just want to show really quickly that for domestic vendors, ah, this is beautiful. We have this little badge called RTP enabled. So if you can see here, if I wanted to select RTP, voila, it can go to an RTP enabled bank account and you can add remittance, in, which is pretty awesome. Um, and Ben, I'm just going to wrap that up there. A lot of different payment methods, different speeds. Um, and at the end of the day, like we just focus so much on making sure that business data is able to be relayed to accounting data and finance operations and engineering are able to do their thing 
as you go from a thousand payments to a hundred thousand payments to a million payments and so forth. Thanks everyone.